We are following breaking news right now out of Jackson Memorial Hospital. A news conference is beginning right now to bring us an update on an officer shot last night in Miami. We're hearing right now from Detective Alvaro Zabaleta. He's just letting us know who is going to be speaking. We know that the police director, Freddie Ramirez, is right behind him. We expect to hear from him, as well as from Miami-Dade Mayor Daniela Levine Cava. You can see there are many other uh, local officials gathered there, same as last night. There were multiple uh, commissioners who were there last night who immediately rushed to the hospital upon hearing the news that one of the officers for Miami-Dade County Police Department had been shot while on duty working a robbery intervention detail. Yeah, that officer has been identified as Detective Cesar Echeverry, 29 years old, who is in extremely critical condition. Let's listen right now to the police director. Today I'd like to give you an update on Miami-Dade Police Department. Officer Cesar Echeverry, or as we know him as Echi, He's a five-year veteran of our department, 29-year-old son. As we move forward, I just want to let it be known that we need to be careful what we say. The family, mom and, there's a mom and dad right now suffering, and we, we need to be very mindful and respectful of what we say here. I know there's a lot of misinformation, and our goal here is to try to, try to create a timeline for the community, for our law enforcement community. Our goal here is about unity and pray for our officer. What we know of right now is that on Monday, there was an armed robbery that occurred in Broward County. Etchi was part of the robbery intervention detail, or is part of that unit. Uh, they were able to identify the vehicle via Bolo and immediately attempted to conduct a traffic stop, a tactical stop. As they stopped, tried to pull over the vehicle, which, uh, which was occupied by Jeremy Horton, uh, the subject resisted, rammed our police cars, and evaded. A small chase ensued in which the subject crashed into a civilian vehicle and fled on foot. Our officers, including Etchi, as brave as they are, fled on foot after the subject so he would not be a threat to our community. During the chase, foot chase, there was a confrontation where shots were fired. Horton was deceased on the scene, and actually suffered a severe gunshot wound where he was immediately transported here to Ryder Trauma. And I thank the doctors and all the first responders here that have been working with him. Uh, FDLE obviously responded to conduct the investigation. Where we stand today is today, myself, the mayor, and the chairman, Pepe Diaz, came to visit the, to visit the family. We're going through it real bad. We're hurting really bad. Our officers are hurting real bad. But make no mistake that we have our resolve and we're standing tall for Etchi and for this community. I thank all the community members who called to give support. And there are long days ahead. And we all need to be strong and be focused on what matters. And what matters right now is Officer Echeverry, his parents, our law enforcement community, and our community. We stand together praying for him, and we will not quit. I can tell you that right now. Spanish. That is Miami-Dade Police Director Freddy Ramirez really having a difficult time, Lauren, getting the words out, filling in the blanks of what happened yesterday. We covered this as breaking news last night, that 29-year-old police officer fighting for his life after being shot during that robbery detail investigation. You can tell that the police director is very emotional talking about this officer. He identified as Cesar Echeverry, Echi, as they call him, in the police department, a 29-year-old, five-year veteran of the Miami-Dade Police Department. And as the director said, he's being very careful with what he says, with what information is given out, because there is a mom and dad, a mother and father, uh, suffering right now and in pain, simply hoping and praying for the best for their son. They are there at the hospital. They've been there since since last night, and we saw that overwhelming support, not just from the Miami-Dade Police Department, but from other agencies last night. Everyone gathered at Jackson Memorial Hospital.
hospital waiting for word on an update about this officer who was injured in the line of duty. And to give a little bit of background information, uh, Officer Echeverry is in the robbery intervention detail, the RID detail, and he was responding to an armed robbery suspect that had been spotted in Miami-Dade County. And then this ended up as a traffic stop and a chase that ended in the city of Miami. And unfortunately, that's when eventually gunfire was exchanged. Yeah, that robbery uh, on Monday occurred in the 400 block of East Dania Beach Boulevard. According to police, two armed men had uh, take, had robbed the store and the clerk managed to take a photo of the car tag. That led the officers to the city of Miami where they located that car, tried to stop that car, and that's when the suspect resisted, rammed the police car, and then fled. At one point, he fled on foot. Uh, Officer Echeverry uh, uh, gave chase, and that's when a shootout occurred. The suspect, who has been identified as Jeremy Horton from Georgia, was shot to death. An officer, Echeverry, was shot in the head. And uh, yesterday, uh, 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 Lauren, it was touch and go, the information that we were getting about the officer's condition. The one thing that we did know from the start is that it was a very serious injury, and the officer, he was taken by a fellow officer to Jackson Memorial Hospital with a gunshot wound to the head. Right now, let's listen to the public information officer. The mayor of Miami-Dade County, Daniela Levine Cup. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for being here under these tragic circumstances. And I especially want to thank our chief, Freddie Ramirez, the South Florida Benevolent Association President, Stedman Stahl, our chairman of the commission, Pepe Diaz, and Commissioner Hardiman. We are all here together after this tragic incident that occurred last night. Uh, we're standing together. So. We all know that the men and women of our Miami-Dade Police Department are dedicated public servants who put their lives on the line each and every day for all of us. They fight crime, they protect our residents, and they ensure the safety of our communities. And that was the case last night when one of our own Miami-Dade Police Department officers was critically injured in the line of duty. Detective Cesar Echeverri, or also known as Echi, is a member of our department's robbery intervention detail, or RID, and he is one of our police department's essential frontline units fighting crime. The RID receives specialized training and it's tasked with suppressing robberies, stopping robberies, intervening in active robbery scenarios, and apprehending suspects, just like Detective Echeverri did last night. As the chief explained, the armed robbery occurred in Broward, and Broward law enforcement reported to us that the suspect had moved into Miami-Dade. We're working closely with the Broward Sheriff's Office and the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, and I want to thank all of our partner agencies for their collaboration and their support in this critical effort. And we also owe a special thanks to the brave men and women right here at Jackson health system for the incredible care that they're providing to Echi. Detective Echeverri remains in critical condition and our top priority is to continue to support his family in this impossibly difficult time. So I call upon our entire community to uplift him and his family in your prayers, as well as the entire police department and public safety community in this moment of pain and sorrow and uncertainty. This morning, I met with the family, along with Chief Ramirez and Chairman Diaz, and we pledged our unwavering support. As our officers have stood with us in every tragedy, representing our community so bravely through the global pandemic, through the collapse of the Champlain Tower South and other threats that they handle on a day-to-day -day basis. We stand with each and every one of them as they do their jobs. They shoulder a sacred responsibility. They are protecting our residents, they're building bridges to our community, and they are putting their lives on the line to ensure that we can live a safe, safer life here in Miami-Dade. 
So the hard work and the success of our Miami-Dade Police Department is vital to the safety and security of our entire community. And we know that our community appreciates them so very, very much. And they have earned the trust of our community and strong bonds that help them to do their jobs. There is no way that we can ever repay the debt that we owe them for this sacrifice. All that we can do is be here as we are today, supporting them in solidarity when a tragedy like this strikes. So on behalf of our entire community, we thank the men and women in uniform who are keeping us safe, even at the greatest personal cost. Their unwavering dedication and their selfless service to our residents will never be forgotten. Los hombres y mujeres del Departamento de Policía. That was Miami-Dade County Mayor Daniela Levine Cava giving the latest update on what she knows about the officer who was shot in the line of duty last night, Detective Cesar Echeverri, the mayor, saying that she met with Echi, as he's called, his family, and they pledged their unwavering support of the county and of the police department as they go through this very difficult time right now. The mayor really stressing the fact that police officers shoulder a sacred responsibility. That's how she described it, by putting their lives on the line. She says we can never repay them for their service, but what we can do, what all of us can do at this very difficult time is to show our support to the Echeverry family as well as to the rest of the Miami-Dade Police Department. And the Miami-Dade Police Police Department at this time is working in conjunction with BSO and the FDLE to work on this investigation because this all started, Elliot, as the police director mentioned, as a robbery in Broward County. That's right. It was in Dania Beach that that took place, and uh, apparently there was a, a license plate reader that tracked the car down to a hotel in Miami Springs. They later led to uh, Liberty City, where police tried to pull over the vehicle. This is on 62nd Street and 17th Avenue, right there in Liberty City, and it ended at 7th Avenue and 62nd Street uh, with a crash to police cars and that suspect. Jeremy Willie Horton going on foot and then running, firing shots, hitting uh, Detective Echeverry in the head. Other officers opened fire and they were able to kill him. What we know about Jeremy Willie Horton, he was 32 years old from Lithia Springs, Georgia, with uh, quite a police record. We know that on August 8th, he was pulled over in uh, Golden Beach for driving without a driver's license and other traffic offenses. He was cited. Uh, he does have a record, though, going back to Georgia uh, that includes uh, drug possession and also aggravated assault on an officer, three counts of felony obstruction and criminal trespassing. So this is a suspect with a criminal record. Let's see who is going to speak next. This is a very difficult moment for our community. We have one of our own, one of our sentinels, one of our warriors, one of those that protect us every day to make sure our quality of life stays the best level possible. But today, he's fighting for his life in a bed upstairs. As the mayor and the director said, we met with the family and with him. We prayed, we haven't stopped praying. That's the most important thing I think we could do, bring our faith and move forward and continue to pray. I'm here representing my colleagues, Mr. Hardiman is here next to me. I know Commissioner Heyman is here, and so Commissioner Martinez. But we're all together in this as one body, the mayor, director, police department, all of us. Faith is the most important thing we have right now. And we gotta make sure that this officer, God's help, pulls through. That is the message I basically have today. But I wanna thank our director, our department, our mayor, and my colleagues, once again, for standing tall and making sure that whatever needs to be done to help our officer, Caesar, will be done. Este un día muy triste 
para todos los otros. That was Miami-Dade County Commission Chairman Jose Pepe Diaz speaking, he says, on behalf of his fellow commissioners as he speaks started to speak in Spanish there. He said that this is a very sad day indeed. He says that they are there to show their support to the family and to show that the county stands with the police department as officer detective Cesar Echeverri fights for his life right now at Jackson Memorial Hospital. Those are some of the pictures you're seeing there on your screen of the officer who's been identified as Cesar Echeverri, 29 years old, a five-year veteran of the Miami-Dade Police Department and a member of the robbery intervention detail. As the mayor described it, she calls that detail an essential frontline unit to suppressing crime in Miami-Dade County, and he was gravely injured doing his job last night while working in the city of Miami is where this all ended, but it all started as a robbery in Broward County. Then a vehicle fled into Miami Dade. Police here got the word that that vehicle had moved into Miami Dade County, and that is when the robbery intervention detail and Detective Cesar Echeverri moved in. They identified a vehicle that matched that be on the lookout description. They conducted a traffic stop, and police say that's when suspect Jeremy Horton led them on a small chase and crashed into civilian vehicles in the process. Then he got out of the vehicle, ran away, and the brave officers of RID of the robbery intervention detail chased after him, and that's when that confrontation with gunfire ensued. Let's go ahead and listen in to who else is going to speak. We're going to open up for questions. Please do it in an orderly fashion. Let us know who you're directing the question to and allow that, in the person, that person to answer the question. Any questions? Yes, Chief. When you say in critical condition, I don't want, out of respect to the family, I don't want to get into details. It's, he's in critical condition. He's fighting for his life. The doctors are, are with him. His law enforcement family's with him. This community's with him. And uh, we're going through a difficult time right now. And all I can ask for is, is for all of us to pray together, and we will get through, through this together. Thank you. Director, um, if, if you want to answer this, what misinformation has been out there that you would like to correct specifically? In the early stages of this event, it was stated that that he was deceased. He's not deceased. He's very much with us. Very much with us. He's with his parents right now, with his fiance, with his sister, and with his law enforcement family, with his community. Yes, ma'am. Sir, do you have any further information about where this started in Broward and here and possibly in Dania Beach? Can you confirm any of that? All I know, it, it may have occurred in Dania Beach, uh, an armed robbery. I don't know all the particulars right now. What I do know is that our, that Etchy and his partners did their job, did their job of a violent criminal tri-county violation to our community and our RID officers did what they're trained to do. They located him and stopped him. That's what we know. Director, you're obviously uh, not aware of this incident. Yes, ma'am. Is there any other information about this? Do you know the officer? How well do you know him? What's your relationship? And, and how are you navigating this with your, with your department? I know him. He's a robbery detective's work out of headquarters, and I, I know his smile. I know his heart. I know as a father what it feels like to see a young man like that injured in that fashion in such a violent way and the effects that it has to the family and, and his brothers and sisters. And to all of us, uh, you're not human if you don't feel that. And all I see right now is his smile, etchy smile. One last question, Ben. Director, eh, era la primera cosa era un solo sospechoso está buscando a alguien más está todo esto contenido y otro ahí vimos un apoyo grandísimo eh, de ser en el centro de oficiales aquí eh, qué tan cerca pues les impacta esto ustedes la investigación sigue Very hard sobre el for the police director to contain his emotions talking about this young police officer who lost his life in such a violent fashion uh, last night 29 years old he had been on the force for 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 5 years and again we should clear up he is in 
in very serious condition, critical condition tonight, and we have to be very careful because he he does have a family, and the police are coming out to say he is alive. He has not died. I apologize for saying that. He is alive, and everyone is asked to pray that he improves. And the police director seemed to be almost holding back tears there as he described how he knows this officer, this detective personally, because as he described it, the, writ inter the robbery intervention detail works out of the headquarters right. in Doral, so he sees them. So he says, I have seen him, I know his smile, I know his heart, he knows the, the kind of man that Cesar Echeverry is, and he says that he was simply doing his job, the job that he was trained to do, and you could tell that there was the pride there as well to know that his officers were doing exactly what they were supposed to be doing in tracking down this suspect who, according to uh, reports, began as an armed robbery investigation in Broward County and then led into Dade County. Earlier, the director also said that the entire department, his words were, is hurting really bad, but he says we all have our resolve and we are standing tall for Etchy. That's what they call this officer, Etchy, that they're standing together to focus on what matters. But again, Elliot, he's just being very careful about what information he gives because this is a, a young man, 29 years old, with his parents by his side. Uh, the police director also mentioned a a sibling with uh, Cesar Echeverry and a fiance as well there at the hospital, all hoping for the very best and doctors working and nurses working around the clock to give him the care that he so greatly needs and deserves. Yeah, so tough dealing with these emotions right now, especially for these police officers and the police director who said he knows this officer uh, personally. His family is there. He said that uh, his fiance is there, other members of the family. And let's listen uh, right now. It looks like we may have a moment of prayer or this is uh, an interpreter. Let's listen. Officier qui a bail Lord qui a travaillé pour communauté a fait tout ça capable de Miami Dade uh, for Dade County the Miami Dade Police Department. Yeah, we were also hearing from them in Spanish. The police director and the mayor and the commission chairman were able to give those remarks, and that's when we uh, entered in and gave a recap of what they had been saying. Of course, we have crews all over the county right now covering this story, gathering the latest information to learn more about this officer, to learn more about the suspect, to figure out exactly what happened and where the investigation and where this officer's treatment stands right now. CBS 4's Peter Dench has been covering this all day long. He is at the the hospital. He's there at that press conference gathering the very latest information for us. So let's turn things over to him right now. Peter, obviously very emotional for the entire department, the entire county. What did you make of what the police director had to say? Well, the police director, Lauren Like last night was very choked up about this, talking about uh, the police officer. You know, earlier today, the president of the South Florida Police Benevolent Association, Stedman Stahl, says that sometimes, you know, police officers leave home and they never know if they're going to return. It points out the dangers of the job in this situation. You know, good wrap up on your part. We're hearing he's 29 years old, been with the police department uh, for five Five years, his parents, fiance, and a sibling at his side worked with the robbery intervention detail or RID. Very dangerous job caught in a shootout with a suspect in Liberty City last night. Uh, the Miami Dade police director was calling for the community to come together, asked for prayers for him, said we face some difficult days ahead. And the Miami Dade mayor, Daniela Levine Cava, says that we owe these officers a debt. Officers who put their lives on the line in the course of their duty. So, again, some very sobering moments here at Jackson Memorial Hospital as uh, a number of people talking about Cesar Echeverry, known as Echi. Back to you.